Hey everyone, Reed here. Today, I want to show you a clever technique for hiding the code whenever you are using SVG images in a table within Power BI. One of my annoyances with SVG images is that when you hover over the image, the tooltip will display the SVG code in the tooltip box, which doesn't look great on a published report. So I devised a clever use of report tooltip pages to return instead a small SVG icon, which solves this annoyance. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So you might recognize this report from my SVG Sparkline video, the one where I previously created this little sparkline you see over here on the lower right. Now, if you're curious about how I made this specifically, I will direct you to the video here. But for this video, I want to focus on solving that annoyance that I mentioned. So if I come over here and hover over the sparkline, this is the issue that I was talking about. The tooltip here renders this and it just doesn't look very good when it just displays all of that code. Now there are some ways around this where you can actually turn off the tooltips themselves and it gets a little bit smaller. So if I select this, come over to the format painter and just disable tooltips, it looks a little different, but it still doesn't really give me the result that I want. So instead, what I can do is I'm gonna turn this on, I'm gonna come down here and notice that tooltip type you can do default or report page. And what I've actually done is created an SVG tooltip report page. So make sure that's selected, hover over it again. And look, there's a tiny little report tooltip page that all that has there is an SVG image icon I included on that page. It essentially just renders an icon and puts that right here on top of it. So it's much smaller, much less intrusive, and also points out the fact that this sparkland is an SVG image. Now this thing is something I just got online by Googling SVG image icon, um, but it uh, works very well on the page and gives what I think is a much better result here. Now I'm not gonna go into details on how I made the report tooltip page. Again, I will link you to another video that I made showing how to make these report tooltip pages here, but let me at least show you the page that I was talking about. So the hidden page over here, there's that large icon that's currently full screen, but if I actually come up to go in page view, go to actual size, you'll see that it is just a really, really small page. Um, even more so, you'll notice that if you come over to the format, you go to page size, I've set it to only 48 by 48 pixels. So I've made it legitimately really tiny, and that's why it's returning such a small little footprint when you're over here on the main page and doing that here. And overall, this was my solution that I came up with. I think it works really well, and having that icon there does make it look a lot nicer as well too. Um, I've not personally found any way to completely disable the tooltips from a table, but I'd love to hear what you think. Do you like this solution? Do you have any other suggestions for maybe a different solution? Or if you just in general have any thoughts, so please add that down to the comment section. But otherwise, that covers it for this video. If you like this video, please click or smash that like button. If you have anything to say about this video in general or have a comment for a future video, you can also add that to the comment section below. And if this is your first time here or you wanna see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.